Anansi and the Turtle One day, Anansi the spider was sitting down to a delicious meal when Turtle crawled by his house. Turtle had been walking all day, and the smell of yams coming from Anansi's house made his stomach grumble. He shyly knocked on Anansi's door and asked if he could join him for dinner. As Turtle walked towards the table, greedy Anansi had an idea. Turtle's hands were covered in dirt from his long journey on the dusty road. Turtle, before you sit down, please mind your manners and wash your dirty hands, Anansi said. I'm so sorry, Anansi, Turtle said politely. He went to wash his hands. By the time Turtle returned, the yams were gone. Anansi had eaten every last one. Turtle was disappointed, but he didn't complain. Thank you for inviting me to dinner, said Turtle. Tomorrow, please come to my house, and I will cook for you. The next day, Anansi found Turtle on the bank. Come inside, Anansi, Turtle said. My dinner is all ready. Turtle dove into the water, and Anansi dove after him. But instead of sinking like Turtle, Anansi popped back up to the surface. Anansi pushed off of rocks. He kicked, he splashed, he tried with all his might to swim down to Turtle's home, but he kept rising to the top of the water. Then, Anansi had an idea. He gathered stones from the riverbank and put them into the pockets of his fancy jacket. He dove back into the water, and this time he sank right to the bottom and into Turtle's house. Turtle's table was covered with tasty treats. Anansi reached for a piece of food. Excuse me, Anansi, said Turtle. In my home, we never wear our coats at the table. Please mind your manners and take off your jacket. Anansi took off his jacket, and up he floated right back to the top of the river, his stomach grumbling. The moral of this story is, you have to act like a friend to be treated like one.